Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Sonal Sharma and I am working as functional consultant with BISP Solutions. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create reconciliation in transaction matching. We have started our second module of our application that is transaction matching module. Okay, so let's just start without wasting any time. Is uh, that first of all, any administrator uh, who for application is going to provide some of the things without which transaction matching cannot be done. Okay, so let's just start. First of all, he need to provide the details uh, for the particular transaction matching. So here, what are the things? First one is the match type. We understand what is match type. It is providing or defining the particular, you know, structure of the data, which is going to be matched uh, with the, uh, you know, data imported. Okay, so that is match type we are creating. In that match type, you need to define the data sources. Data sources, what, what data sources is? Data sources is basically from where you are taking that data. So whether it is a source system or subsystem, what is the name of that files which are going to be imported? Okay, you need to provide the transaction type, which type of transaction these are in which uh, the, you know, um, with the differences or the unmatched are going to fall define the matching process then create the comment and define the profiles okay this is the things administrator need to perform before doing any transaction matching task okay uh, then the major three tasks uh, in the transaction matching can be performed by the administrator is for matching function is uh, creating reconciliation importing data and running auto match now we are going uh, to the application part first of all this is basically the home page here in the application in the match type you are going to create altogether a new match type or you can utilize the old one the created one here you can see you can create it from here as a new one or as well you can uh, create uh, re uh, you can utilize the already created one okay so here i am just for the uh, understanding purpose i am going to uh, share any of the suppose we are taking this enter company 120 this match type is created for the transaction of inter company uh, you know transactions balance comparison between two inter company you know two branches of any company so this is created for this type of transactions okay you can say ap to ar that means for one company it's accounts payable for the another company it's accounts receivable so these are the transactions we are going to cover and there are multiple number of transactions okay so this is how the match type looks like so when you are creating it you need to provide for the properties like what is the uh, ID of that match type, what is the name of it, the description, the detailing, okay, the status, it is right now showing approved. If you want to make any changes or you can say if you want to edit it, you can go to the pending and you need to save again to it and then it will allow you to do the, you know, make changes in the further parts like transaction types or match process or, you know, data sources. These, these changes can be done only after making it pending. When you are creating altogether a new match type, it is automatically at the pending status. Once you provide all these informations, automatically, uh, you know, it will ask you to approve it. Uh, even if it's not asking, you need to approve it. Only then you can utilize that match type in any of the formats or profile until unless it is not allowing you to create that profile or format. So... <clears throat> The next thing here is the data sources. Data sources is basically the two types of data or the main source system, source system or subsystem that can be provided here. So uh, the first, uh, suppose first uh, data source you are providing here, which is accounts payable as you can show. It is uh, showing its name and uh, whether it's a source system or subsystem here. The accounts receivable is the source system 
ओके एंड यू आर अलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन टू बी एडिटेड और डिलीटेड और स्प्लेट दिस कैन बी आई विल टेल यू एट द पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वेन इट इज यू नो वेन वी आर गोइंग टू ऑटो रन और ऑटो रन मैच द ट्रांजेक्शन दट हाउ दे आर गोइंग टू वर्क बट दिस इज अलाउिंग यू इफ यू आर नॉट अलाउिंग दिस इफ यू आर नॉट क्लिकिंग ऑन द चैक बॉक्स इट विल नॉट अलाउ यू टू डिलीट एनी ट्रांजेक्शन आफ्टर यू नो ट्रांजेक्शन मैचिंग और एट द टाइम ऑफ ट्रांस section matching it is not allowing you any manual changes okay and we cannot spread as well so this is uh, the source data these are the attributes data sources attributes that you can see these are the headings of uh, the column headings of that particular file uh, you know the csv file or any any data you are importing for this particular you know transaction matching purpose for this match type these are the headings column headings of that particular profile uh, files okay in case of any changes in these it will not allow you to import the data and it will show error okay so this is the source system and this ap is the sub system as you can see and these are the headings here uh, while uh, giving the attributes defining the attributes you need to select the type of that attribute uh, you need to select that whether it's a required field whether it is allowing calculation in case of date it can be accounting date and in case of you know amounts it can be the balancing attribute generally these principles work but it depends on the organization's practices okay so this is what data source is all about here are the transaction types these are the types which are specifically provided that in case of any you know unmatched transactions while arising in which category that unmatched transaction falls and how you are going to match it manually or through suggested match so those suggestions are depends on these transaction types so here you can provide it suppose uh, in this example if you uh, take that uh, in case uh, there is coding error or any invoice dispute is there that is the reason why ap and ar are not matching it can be a currency fluctuation it can be any other reason or it can be auto adjustment so these are the uh, you know uh, transaction types you needs to define then the next one is match process here match process you can uh, you know provide this data sources the id of this particular match uh, type and as well you need to give the default attribute ma mapping which has to be there in every case whether you are providing the rules or not okay so in that case here in this case the amount and the date it is uh, set as default attributes and the bucket attribute which is automatically come uh, while creating the match type you don't need to give it okay so this is uh, the match process here the rules which is one of the very important aspect here uh, you need to understand and you need to learn is that uh, there are auto match rules you provide what are the auto match rules when you are going to the matching of uh, you know after reconciling you are going to that particular profile and you are going on run auto match when you are running auto match these are the rules given by you or set by you in case if they work on that those transaction those files it will automatically matched and there is no need to match it manually or go for suggestions like it will automatically auto reconciliation can be done whereas in the case uh here you can see there are two types of rules okay the first one is you can see that this is the confirmed match st status as you can see okay whereas in uh, some of these it is suggested so the suggested one is where it is nearby or it is you know somehow some way almost matching that but not the exact one in that case the system is providing the application is providing you suggestions so in the auto match rules the confirmed ones are automatically uh, you know um, cross uh, reconcile the remaining are in the suggestions if they fall under this and if there uh, the uh, 
even after these two types of rules if there is a uh, some there are some transactions which are not going to auto match or suggested match that can be matched manually from here so this is what exactly the match type you need to create after creating this match type you need to go to the format for uh, you know for uh, suppose we had taken the inter company 120 after that after creating the uh, you know match type providing the rules setting the data sources you need to go to formats and then create a format for that particular match type you need to uh, for this you need to map that match type here suppose i am taking the TM intercompany that is transaction matching intercompany. So here you can see the match type is, you know, as you can see, intercompany receivable payable difference. This is the match type created, uh, already created is mapped here. Okay. So now we are going for intercompany transactions. We are going to use this format and we are going to, um, you know, utilize this. I'll show you the second one as well. Okay, yeah. here as you can see, uh, I uh, show you the first one, uh, but I uh, this is the exactly same match type we had seen just a few minutes before. So this is uh, the you know format we are going to use for reconciliation of transaction matching in the sec second module. Okay, for the multiple transactions. So this is how the format is created. You need to provide the name, description, method you can select here and you can attach the match type here. So it is really important before creating the format, you need to create the match type, okay? I am saving and closing it. Now moving to the profile. Uh, in the profile side, you can uh, go to, uh, suppose I am taking any profile like 203 intercompany, okay? This is intercompany with entity 120. Okay, 203 intercompany with entity 120. This is a profile. Okay, this is the profile uh, ID. The name of this uh, description is the reconciliation of AR invoices of one entity sent to another entity. Transaction matching is used to compare outstanding of AP and AR balances on both sides. Okay, here the status is active. What is the organization unit? You can provide it here. The format we created or we used uh, in which we, uh, you know, attach that match type can be added here. The process, you can select it from here. Risk rating, you can provide in the account type, you can provide in which balance sheet item it is falling, in which category and what would be the normal balance of it. You can also provide the maximum age limit and auto reconciliation method, which one you want to take. Here, you can also provide the workflow, uh, the preparer and the reviewer, the frequency of it and what would be the maximum limit date for uh, the task. To be accomplished you can provide the currency as well what is the rate type and what is the functional currency for this you can provide any rules in case if it is required you can provide for rules it is not given here but you can provide for your workings so this is how uh, you created you need to open the period for which you are uh, going to you know going for transaction matching you need to take uh, take a consideration whether that period is open or not so this is how you you can uh, create reconciliation for transaction matching purpose. The steps, as you can see, I'll tell you from the way. Okay. So here you can see the transaction matching process. Here in the transaction matching, uh, so what we learned is uh, we need to create the match type, provide the data sources, and we can also provide the transaction types. We can create the format and uh, create the profile after that what you need to do is you need to load the data you need to run auto match you can confirm the suggested matches and create manual matches and this is how the bulky transaction the the heavy you know traffic of the transaction which you want to do the transaction matching of can be done through the transaction matching process okay so this is it for today's video i hope this is helpful for you thank you